It's January 10th. It's time for Watcher Weekly. It's January 10th. It's time for Watcher Weekly. It's January 10th, and it's time for Watcher Weekly. Say, it's, say it as if like you're saying there's a fire. It's January 10th. It's time for Watcher Weekly. There we go. I did not like that one at all. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Watcher Weekly, a show where we kick back, chat about what's going on with Watcher, and answer all of your questions to the best of our ability. And today we're talking the birth of Watcher. What is Watcher? We should do one more for safety. Right? Fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, you know. Okay, I, I don't know, yes. fuck me for getting safety <laughs> takes. I... What is Watcher? Well, it's a big question. We've been answering that for a long time. Every day, we, t we stare in the mirror and ask, what is Watcher, what is Watcher? <laughs> we scream it at each other. Do you do that? Yes. Yeah, I do. Maybe let's start with what's the goal of Watcher. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> That's a right. good idea. Yeah, yes. yeah. Watcher is a new production studio that Ryan, Shane, and myself came together to create because we wanted to make high quality content for the internet, for streaming platforms, for the world, and we wanted a place where we could do it on our terms. Is that a good answer? That's a great answer. All right. We have been hard at work for several months making numerous series, seven, in fact, this being one of them. No, this is that not would one. Make this, eight. This is not this one. Would be, oh, actually, eight. Wow. More than you bargained for. Nailed huh? it. I will say <laughs> that uh, today we just have a lot to get through. We have to explain to you what Watcher is. We have to explain to you the series. We have to explain to you how we're going to show you those series. And at the end, we'll ask each other some fun little questions. So, that would normally come from you. They so look, you're a big part of Watcher Weekly. You send in your little cues, your weird little thoughts. We'll pick them apart. I don't know if we should call them weird little thoughts. Your weird little thoughts. Ooh. We're happy to hear them. Sure. Okay, we're going to stick with that. Weird little thoughts. Send yeah. in all your weird little thoughts. Yeah, we'll have two separate sections. One for juicy cues and one for weird little thoughts. There's a monster burp that just emerged from the bottom of my bowels. Good to know. That's the kind of vibe we're gonna have. <clears throat> Anyways, there's probably a fair amount of you actually that don't know who we are. We came from a place called BuzzFeed. We made a lot of cool content there. We made shows that we're very proud of, but we did feel that it was time to make something of our own, make content that we own. We not only wanted to make a home for ourselves, but we wanted to make a home for other creators, a place that everyone could come together and make really cool stuff and share in the ownership and the fun. So Some may call um, that a studio. That's why we call it a production studio. It is a studio. But it is somewhat apropos that we're filming this in Ryan's kitchen because this is where it all began. This is where the company was founded. Mm -hmm. We sat here, we incorporated here. We, we, we shared some cheese balls here. We toasted over a bucket of cheese balls. Where are those cheese uh, balls? About the, <laughs> the possibilities <laughs> of the future. And uh, yeah, we've been working on this thing in secret for the past, I don't know, seven-ish months. I'm actually just thrilled that people know about it because uh, frankly, I was going a little bit insane. Well, uh, <laughs> why don't we talk a little bit about the series? We could do that. Uh, uh, is that <laughs> next on the docket? I don't know. No. So yes. we do have a pilot process. We filmed seven series. Most of them will have four episodes each, but we are not going to show you, for example, if they... So on and so on. Just explain that in the most complicated way possible. No, 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 it makes sense. I thought sense. that was pretty good. It makes sense. Look, it's pretty complicated. A1, B, not A1, A2, A3, A4. It's A1, B1, C1, D1. Do you guys that speak in Ruby? Sense. Or do you speak in HTML? Did, did, did you guys understand what that? They had no idea what you just said. Okay. I am of the people here. You okay, know, then okay. you know what, Steven, you take it. How You explain the plan. Look, guys, that was a terrible explanation. Uh, why don't we just cut to a pre-produced uh, package? Here we go. And now a handy guide to the Watcher release schedule. Let's take a look at the weekly calendar, where you'll see that Wednesdays and Thursdays are your new favorite days of the week. These other days, they mean nothing now. They are garbage, they are trash. This week we've had a bit of fun and dropped a Watcher Weekly and the first episode of Puppet History on a Friday. But starting next week, you can look forward to a new Watcher Weekly every Wednesday, followed by a new series episode every Thursday. Now, we'll be rolling out our seven new series cyclically. For example, having released episode one of Puppet History this week, next Next week, you'll see episode one of Spooky Small Talk. Then week three brings us episode one of Top 5 Beatdown. Then is episode one of Homemade, Weird Wonderful World, Grocery Run, and Tourist Trapped. And then it's back to the start for the second episode of Puppet History and so on and so forth. This release schedule will allow more feedback for our various series and help the team at Watcher Entertainment decide what you want us to shoot next after we finish airing these initial pilot seasons. This has been a handy guide to the Watcher release schedule. Thank you! Wow! That was pretty good. Still confused. Nice to on the graphics. It makes sense, though. Uh, 
So the piloting process is not just for the first six months of this company. We're going to be piloting more shows and more shows as the company lives on. That's right. With more creators. And that's where y'all come in. We're going to count on you guys for a lot of feedback in terms of what we're gonna produce more of. So if you do have thoughts, please leave them in the comments or you know, join us on Patreon. We have a Discord channel there. We'll hack in there, hack in there. <laughs> we'll just take, we'll visit there to just see what you guys think of the shows and see which ones you like, which I'm ones in. you don't like. And then we'll be like, uh, yeah, we'll make more of those and Shane's gonna keep panting. They hate them. my shows. <laughs> cancel them. They cancel them all. Ooh. Hopefully yeah, you don't. Uh, you I'm gonna get a burner Discord account. What, to, to drag us? Actually, why would I do that? Yeah, why would you Are you gonna it? try and plug your own Watcher shows? Watcher sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just me coming in. Uh, I've always wanted a situation to have a burner, though. I've, I've never had to do that, Shane but actually has it'd two be burners. nice. I got some burner Twitter accounts. What they're do really they do? Dumb. Oh, they're good. What is one called, Big Balls for Free or something? <laughs> Wait, that can't be it. It's Big Nuts for Free. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's even worse. Yeah, I wasn't lying. I'm telling you, that's a real account. Now that we've gone through the pilot process and how we're gonna get feedback from you guys, let's go through the first show, the show that actually is already on the channel right now. You can watch it right now. You can watch go, it I would say watch her. Maybe watch the rest of this and then go watch that. Or, you know, I guess if you have to pick the two, uh, Go there. Of the two, go to that one. Yeah. Sure. And that show is helmed by Mr. Shane here. That's uh, my show. It's called Puppet History. You'll notice that all three of us are on it, but you might not see me very much on it because uh, I'm really not in it. Um, I mean, you are. Your voice is. I am in it in a sense, but I'm barely there. You do have a trailer as well, right? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what, what does that do? That means roll it? That rolls it. Yeah, oh. I think. Please do not roll the trailer after he does that because I want him to just sit there and stew for three seconds. Well, we have to have some sort of roll the trailer motion, so if it's not going to be that, then it's going to be... Welcome one and all the... No, don't roll it. No, don't roll it. Okay. Um... What do I have to do to get the trailer to roll? Say something maybe about the show. Roll it, Jimmy! How about, how about, please enjoy puppet history. Please enjoy puppet history, the trailer. Is that better? That's not better. Roll it! <laughs> Welcome one and all to Puppet History! You're the professor? I'm the professor. Today we'll be taking an ever winding look at yet another chapter in the heavy, heavy book we call History. I'm just letting you know that if you mention those barrels to anybody else, Ooh. you'll end up in one. You just shook knighted. Uh, you shook knighted him, yeah. The random true. dude. You don't look so good. You eat some bad sushi or something? <laughs> <laughs> While our guests ruthlessly vie for the coveted title of the History Master! Whoa! Ignore the hand. Ignore the hand. What was the. <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> I am mortified. We're here to learn and have fun. Speak for yourself. In a world where there's unlimited content out there, yeah. why? You know, Should I watch Puppet History? Because that's what they're thinking out there. Like, oh, Puppet History? Sure, I'll take a stab at it. But why? You know, there's a, there's a lot of stories to be told. And there's a lot of things to be learned. I approach these things with a genuine curiosity. Uh, it's a fun way to learn new things in a, in a 20 minute period. What are you looking? Get on with are you your life. Up to God? <laughs> yes. Like, I don't know. You know, I put, a, I, I put my heart and soul into it. I sing little songs. I did a lot of work on the animation. I built a whole little puppet theater. The puppet theater, I will say, is impressive. You I got, did not think you were going to go that hard on the design. I don't think anybody did. I don't think Shane did. I don't know if I actually have any behind the scenes photos of me making the puppet theater. Do you have the puppet with you? He looks like he's dead. Goodness. You know, it's weird to see you and the puppet in the same frame. Yeah, I almost didn't even want to bring him out because this feels wrong. <laughs> kind of looks like you. Look, I don't have any puppet. I don't have any history with puppets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whoa! Um, I'd say I did okay. My hand got very tired. And building this puppet was uh, a lot. You know, there was a base. The eyes are fresh. Those are mine. Those are my eyes. <laughs> this was a, I believe, an American Girl doll outfit that I bought off of Amazon. Oh, also, God. I think from American Girl dolls. I was buying a lot of doll clothes on the internet, and I landed on on this. To add of, to your already existing collection, or um, we don't need to discuss any of that. But um, <laughs> can you can you give them a little taste of what the first episode is about? Well, if you haven't seen it, the first episode is about the Black Death, mm -hmm. the Great Mortality, sort of a biography of a disease. And it's um, a little grim, sure. Millions H of people History is grim. Yeah. History is grim. 
It was nice to expose Steven to some grim reality. You're always out there eating your gold food and... Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, that's the yeah. sad fact of the matter. We haven't eaten gold in the You're out there eating years. your fancy little frankfurters. And your doctor told you you had to stop. <laughs> he said you had a gilded tract. Never heard that doctor in my life. <laughs> How long did it take you to design the theater? A few, th three or four days. I mean, Which it's a, is it's a fair amount. It's, it's, I mean, I, I believe it. It was a undertaking. I sort of sketched it out very loosely, and my girlfriend Sarah, I just sort of took over an entire room of our apartment, and she was like, "What are you? Are you going to be able to?" I mean, she believed in me, but I'd say ninety-eight percent of the process looked like a disaster, mm. and then in the like the final moments of it, it was like. Whew, and it just turned into something beautiful. And I was like, I can't believe this worked. That's that Madey magic, though. That's usually where you thrive. <laughs> yeah. The, the very end. In, in the there. 11th hour. Yeah. I mean, it was all building towards success, but a lot of that building looked like failure. So that's what's on the channel right now. However, let's talk about what series is going to be premiering next week. Ooh. Ooh. Very fun. Can't wait. It's a show that I directed. Uh, it's called Spooky Small Talk. It's so, a very yeah. impressive undertaking. Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're all gonna love it. It was very stressful, and we'll 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 dig into it even more next week when yes. it airs. Can I wrap this little segment up with a little comment? Yeah, Stephen. It's weird, but I just want to say that I'm you know I'm proud of us. Yeah. It just I just felt like this was the right time to say it, you know, because you know yeah, that history felt... came out. You got your amazing spooky small talk show. We got more shows coming. Stephen's we've got just, a couple bangers in the bank. I'll we've just been that. working really hard, and it's an honor to be. Beside these guys. Did that sound genuine? That, I, that, that, you know what? Yeah. It did. Thank you. Because it was genuine. <laughs> and if I have to say it was genuine... Then, then you know it's genuine. genuine. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. I gotta say, it's, it's incredible to actually have people watching this stuff now. Because I'll tell you, when I was sitting in my apartment making puppets, mm. I've never felt more alone. Yeah, that's true. That's a very dark place to be. <laughs> it, was, Ooh. it was weird. You're looking at that weird lifeless face that's lying. <laughs> Cracking open boxes full of doll clothes. Elmer's glue in between your knuckles. It's a very strange my place to be. My girlfriend would be like, well, more doll clothes arrived. And I'd be like, thank you. I'll take those to my room. I swear this is for a series. <laughs> well, next on the docket here is normally a Q&A, and that would be by all of you guys, whether they be questions about the show, questions about future shows, or just questions for us. However, since this is being filmed a month before any of you even know this thing exists, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to ask each other questions now oh. that we've prepared. I spent a lot of time thinking about these last night, I and didn't. I got nowhere. I did not. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. You can know that uh, somebody here cares about the show. This was actually a typo, um, huh? but the way it, I accidentally typoed it actually gave me a, a different question that I enjoyed. When did you feel like you were most loving your mind during this whole process. So you was losing your mind, but I wanna know during these several months when you guys were like, you know what, baby? My brain is firing on all cinders and I'm nailing this. I'm loving my mind. Cinders? Cinders. When I say cinders? This guy fires cinders Sorry, in his backyard. I'm full of typos and verbal mm. typos today. There was a day where we shot all these series. A lot of the cuts were out, uh, you know, we've been sharing them on our Vimeo account. And I was uh, out of town and, and I had nothing to do for a few hours. So I was like, why don't I just go in and, you know, check out how Ryan and Shane's shows are doing. And I watched them and I realized that we had done something remarkable. With Homemade, which is my show, it's coming out in a few weeks. I knew that was good. I was like, ah, I got the best show at this whole uh, company. That's the limb cockiness that I love. Yeah. It's the confidence. And then I watched your show and I was like, whoa, 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 peel it back, Steve. And you got some good friendly competition here because oh. they were really, really good. And so maybe it's more about you guys, but I knew this was special. Yeah, that's very, that's very yeah. sweet. It was uh, at a Starbucks, if it's a sponsor for Starbucks. Oh, hey, it can yeah. be. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what that, the that, fuck? Then I was just, I was loving myself, I guess. Loving your mind. Loving my mind. <laughs> loving all of our minds. I'm loving my mind, baby. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess somewhat similar to Steven when we finally started to see cuts come out, but I think it was actually when we first started hiring full-time employees. That made me feel like, oh, we're actually building a company. Mm. We're actually helping some people make a living off of our BS, <laughs> which is like, I thought was pretty interesting. Yeah. And it made it feel like we were actually starting to build something that may matter that will be eventually bigger than us. So yeah, I think it was once we started to actually bring people in and it wasn't just the three of us sitting around a bucket of cheese balls. <laughs>
Also, now let's follow that up with a shout out of our two full-time employees right now. Oh yeah, we could throw a, a picture of them on screen. Oh yeah, that's Brittany. Um, hey. She's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's a lady. Our, our production coordinator. She's very, <laughs> that's Anthony, he's a boy. <laughs> no, that's Brittany. She's our production coordinator. She's amazing. She's already years and years smarter than all three of us and she's the youngest of the crew. Uh -huh. Anthony, he's our uh, creative director of post-production. He's the best editor I've ever worked with. I used to think I was a pretty good editor, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, I had, then I met Anthony, and then uh, I thought maybe I'll do something else. Right. So, <laughs> and uh, here's a photo of our third full-time employee who we don't know. If at we have point, offered employment you know. to a third employee, but we don't know if they've accepted yet. Oh, full wait. transparency. <laughs> Oh, this is just for Shane. Oh, it's just for me. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, God. Yeah, when was the last time you actually felt genuine fear? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were going to say joy. Or, and you didn't let me finish, emotion. Okay. Um, oh, I actually, this is very recent. Two or three days ago, I used the facilities in my apartment and there was a bit of an odor. And I thought, out of respect for my girlfriend, I'll light a match clear the air in here. And I opened the matchbook and there was a spider in it. And it crawled onto my hand as I went like that. I took a photo, you could see this spider. It's very large, but I went, ah! Do you have a spider phobia? Because this is- No, I, I actually let it live because I like having spiders around oh! because they- um... Oh my God, it's enormous. Whoa. Wait, okay, what's the scale though? How big are each of those splotches? Um, it's Whoa. probably about the size of a quarter or so. It looks but... enormous. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a good picture. But yeah, that was the most frightened I've been, I think, in years. Mm. Oh, wow. Can you imagine opening a matchbooks and a, a, a little spider crawls it's out? It's scary, but I do think you have a phobia of spiders, maybe, because no, this them. is the second time we've uh, encountered a spider. You've yeah. seen the video I made, right? Yeah. Oh, where I've spiders crawl in your mouth? Yeah. yeah those yeah. are fake spiders, they're shocked. <laughs> no, those are very Fucking real Fucking mechanic spiders, large. we all know it. You two have had a very close working relationship together. So mm -hmm. coming in this company, you probably knew what you expect. Now I come into the mix, yeah, and yeah. I'm the you know the third co-founder of this company. You are. I wanted to kind of hear uh, your you know expectation, your thoughts coming into it, and mm -hmm. uh, you know what you've thought you know working together for the last X number of months. I will say it's 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 a fun thing because when people had suggested that Shane and I branch off and do our own thing, they never thought got to take Stephen Lim with you, <laughs> which is uh, like- No it's one a, said, and what about Big Apple Steve? <laughs> what about, where's Big Apple Steve at? We were like, uh, he's in the Big Apple. <laughs> that's that's why he's Big Apple Steve. Oh, you yeah. actually moved back to Los Angeles for, for this. For you guys. Yeah. No joke. By the way, that apple you had yesterday was the size of a gorilla testy. It was fucking huge. It was like this. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, it's it's a fun surprise to have Steven in the mix because mm. I don't think anyone saw that one coming. I kind of had somewhat of a working relationship with you because we used to sit next to each other at BuzzFeed. You used to actually manage me for That's true, a I did. I did, I managed both of you. Yeah. And I it hated it. The most hands-off management. <laughs> yeah, because I flat out said I do not want to manage. We don't have to get into like no, the interpersonal yeah, okay, anyway. politics here yeah, at yeah, BuzzFeed. Yeah, okay. This is how I knew Stephen Lim had an insane work ethic and would do anything to uh, accomplish something. Uh, we used to play basketball one-on-one -on -one all the time. And Stephen would uh, frankly mm -hmm. just lose flat out, like he would lose. He would insist that we play over and over and over <laughs> and over again. And by the 10th game, I was like, I I can't do this anymore, I'm tired. And he was like, no, we could, we could go again. I eventually just had to walk off the court because he- He, he just wanted to win. And yeah. so, skip to a couple months later, we play Smash Bros. I beat him in that too. And then Steven was upset, he left. Two weeks later he comes back, he beat me worse than I've ever been beaten in my entire life in any kind of video game. And I also don't own a Switch, so I had to find friends okay, who have Okay, let's not get Switches snippy now. And... I'm just saying that it was impressive that you came back and uh, frankly uh, destroyed me. It, I didn't even take a lot, I didn't take a life off of him. Ryan, so, needs, Ryan needs that every now and then. Good, 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 yeah. The point is, I knew that how you do one thing is how you do a lot of things. And I knew that if we joined forces and we made a company together, I felt very comfortable mm. knowing that Steven was on my team versus on any other team because I knew he was someone that I could always count on. What about you, Shane? It's, it's a delight. Of... We have, had worked with each other a fair amount, but not as exclusively as me and Ryan, obviously. Right. Um, me and Steven really don't have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. 
which now we have had more with the office. We still don't hang out outside of the we office. Gotta, we gotta, we gotta correct Because I don't ball, yeah. you know, I don't smash. <laughs> but Stephen, I, you know, I consider you a friend. Like I have a lot of friends who I don't see outside That's something of work. all friends say to each other. I consider you a friend. You are on my yeah. list. Holy shit. <laughs> One of the reasons I like working with you is that you, um, I didn't think all three of us, we, our brains are sort of orbiting around the same thing, but in different ways. And a lot of times Stephen uh -oh. will think about things in ways where I'm like, mm, that never in a million years would have occurred to me. <laughs> um, same with Ryan. Like, I, I'll, both of you are uh, weirdos and I, I like that. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah, you're welcome. What are you excited for people to see out of all the stuff you've made? Mm. And I guess this is weird because you have to talk about it in a coded way. You don't want to give away too much. Well, I could talk about Spooky's Ball Talk. Okay. I think it was a very stressful undertaking. There was a lot of bells and whistles and moving parts in that. And the fact that we came out with not only just a coherent interview and show, but uh, an enjoyable show and uh, one that I feel very proud of and I I could say is pretty good, is nice. And it was a major team effort in terms of everybody that helped. Oh boy, you were sweating on that I shoot. was sweating, but mm. if it wasn't for like, uh, TJ was behind the camera there directing, Matt was there as well to make sure all of the, the sound. There were so many sounds going on in that entire maze and to, to have clean dialogue was very nice. And then of course, Mark Celestino, the best camera guy I've ever worked with. That guy Money Mark. is a monster. Mm. I love it. And of course, Brittany. I was getting to you, Brittany. <laughs> Unbelievable. I see him, my, my peripheral vision, Brittany's like waving her hand. Yeah, Brittany also was a PA on that shoot, but she did much more than that. She was pretty much just the glue that held everything mm. together. Including your brain, I think. Including my brain, yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited you for that. You were close to it was very stressful. Some kind of break. It was one of the few times you looked at me with very concerned and actually empathetic eyes. Because I was busy that day and I was not there to sort of help set up for anything. No. I got to the set and I saw Ryan and I was like, oh boy, I'm just going to do whatever he needs me to do. <laughs> <laughs> so Homemade is, uh, we're going to get to it next week. We'll and get to just, it next we'll week. Tease it. That's a tease. Here's the thing I'll say about it. It's a very unique show that actually goes into the kitchens of real people whose food you cannot purchase at any price. And uh, there's recipes that, you know, are being passed down from generation to generation. I think that show more than any other show we have at Watcher is the biggest mixed bag in terms of tone. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Which is a good but thing. In a, po in a good way. In a positive yeah. way. Like there's moments You'll that laugh, in... you'll cry. Really? Like You genuinely will. It sneaks up in you. Uh, it sneaks up on you and, and it sneaks up in, in you. you. It sneaks up on in you, you and around you. You know, you could say it sneaks up on you, but you could also say it sneaks up in you. And in that's your what heart? I, and, in your heart. It works. Mm. I got one last question. <laughs> okay. We got time for this. All right, sure. Do we have time for this? Answer it very quickly. Ooh. Why are you doing Watcher? I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like, the universe compels me to. Mm, that's good. As soon as we started talking about this, there's it's never been a question to me. It, it, yeah. it feels like you're the people, you're all the people I want to work with. I feel exactly the same way. Yeah. Yeah, I would say also from an introspective perspective too, when you're a creative person, sometimes you need to, to change it up and you need to find ways to challenge yourself. And if mm -hmm. you don't if you don't feel challenged, you kinda you could kinda fall into this lull. And I felt like this was the biggest challenge I could possibly ever you take on. Felt challenged in and the past uh, six months or so. Yeah. You know, jury's still out whether or not we bit off more than we can chew. Yeah. But I do feel like we've done everything that we could to the best of our ability to bring you guys the best shows we can, to make the best company we can, and to hire and work with the best people that we can. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Even the team, like we just all balanced each other in such ways that I would never have expected. Like it was challenging, but it went really well. You, know, you need a business guy, you need a, you need a pacifist, you need a raging lunatic, TJ. And then, <laughs> you know, for, and, 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 for, and, for, and a puppet. <laughs> you need a puppet. <laughs> Last bits of business before we go. We got a couple shout outs we just have to get here. Yes! Shout out to Yuta, who is the guy who designed our logo noise that yeah. goes before every Yuta one of these Endo, videos. Yuta you can check out his Instagram. He, he's incredible. We, we showed him our logo and he designed this wonderful little sting for it that we, oh boy, we had a hard time choosing. We really mm. toiled over which sting was the correct one. Can you see that squirrel in Whoa! your dog? Yes. Oh, Wait, yes. where? I don't see the squirrel. Oh, by. Was you missed it, Ryan. You missed it. We gotta thank Jeanette. Yes. Jeanette is an incredible designer mm -hmm. who designed the Watcher logo, which you'll see here, you'll see there, you'll see there. We love the logo. She's amazing. Of course, we have to shout out all the crew members that made all of our shows possible, so please pay attention to all the credits that scroll past the screen at the end. 
that's the hard work of all the people that worked on that show. They deserve the credit and the acknowledgement. And of course, at the end, we have to thank all of our families. Uh, yes, yes. Our, our, our significant others, uh, our friends. This has been an insane process to build this thing in the shadows. Our little clandestine operation was a lot to take on and we kind of leaned on all of those people for a support system. And uh, thank you for putting up with our, our nonsense. Even our lawyers and accountants, like, you know. <laughs> Even our lawyers got, and accountants. I we, gotta say, we, we got some uh, great lawyers and accountants. Last but not least, we have to thank all of you guys, everyone who's watching this video, everyone who's watched us in the past, in our previous endeavors. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to make this. We wouldn't be able to even dream of a company like this and be crazy enough to undertake it if we didn't have your support, your encouragement. You guys are the thing that makes Watcher go. We're doing this for you. And uh, thank you for the opportunity. So. Buy some merch. <laughs> <laughs> that does it for this episode of Watcher Weekly. Make sure you watch the next episode of the new show that's premiering next week, Spooky Small Talk. Go watch Puppet History if you haven't seen that. Um, but in the meantime, leave us comments at our socials at WeAreWatcher on Twitter and Instagram. Leave those questions. Maybe you'll be on the next episode of Watcher Weekly when we answer yours. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah. Please. <laughs> Do that. Go <laughs> ahead. No, you don't have to. Suppose. <laughs> they should probably subscribe. If you don't subscribe. You'll never know. Uh, we're gonna die, frankly. So yeah. please subscribe. Support us on Patreon. That's the lifeblood of the company. That's what keeps the lights on. And if you want any of the lovely merch that we have on here, hats, shirts, sweatshirts. There should be a cool new launch team shirt on the Yeah, there'll too. be plenty yes. of fun things that you could go check out. Uh, it's a limited thing. Uh, I made it. Anyways, <laughs> there's the link to the merch store. And yeah, I think that does it for this first episode of Watcher Weekly. Thanks for watching, watchers, and uh, We'll see you next time, I hope. Bye-bye.